Wheels are cleaned and protected. My Christ. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're coming back with another new video today, which is gonna be a little bit interesting because feeding back to when you saw me detail this van, or not, got quite a bit of feedback from the viewers. So we decided to step it up today and I've brought a professional in to come and show us how it's done. Meet Steve McMahon from Geeky Detail Reviews who's going to tell us a little bit about what we're going to be doing today and then I'm going to film the process. So what are we going to be doing today, Steve? So let me just say first off, Steve, uh, thank you for letting us do this collaboration. You're welcome. Um, or introduce him. So we've been speaking about this for quite a while now. And yes. I would use the term professional uh, lightly, as in I used to be uh, a long time ago. If people follow me on the Geeky Detail reviews, they'll probably be able to see that I used to be in the trade. But now I'm obviously a massive weekend warrior or a huge enthusiast. Um, but after seeing your videos and obviously myself having a like-minded van or identical van, I just wanted to show your you know, subscribers and some of mine maybe the process that I go through. Yes. And I hope that the process that I'm going to show people today will help people like-minded, whether they're beginners, enthusiasts, just to show my process. Yeah. Um, as I say, with the Geeky Details, we've got you know, separate brand reviews. Yes. And I've brought a selection today just to show some that I actually bring. And then obviously we've got the Car Boutique, which is a, a Facebook group where we share ideas, tips and tricks. Yes. And again, I hope what we show today I say it's you know people might have a different reiteration of what they want to do but this will hopefully give people you know some other processes insight. to use and to see a, an insight to well yeah, yeah uh, that's excellent we I mean I'm gonna learn things from this you guys are gonna learn things from this as Steve said he's reached out to me a while ago and I said we ought to do this because um, he's avid uh, detailer has got lots and lots of products um, I, as you can see by this shot now this table we've got set up has got them all laid out um, when Steve will be sort of using these products. I will put links to uh, the um, Geeky Detail reviews and everything. They're all coming up on screen now. Also down in the description. So when you get to the end of this video or however far you do get, um, I do advise go check them out because there's lots of new stuff always coming up and very, very good hints and tips. Yes. So yeah. So say hopefully what we do today, yeah. we'll just show people and give some hints, tips and tricks. Can't wait. And use what they need to or use some of the products we've used today or feel free to reach out and, yes. and um, you know, we'll trying to assist and help Sounds people good. along their journey. Well, as so. you can see, we've let the van get a bit dirty because <laughs> you don't very often see it on camera like this, but of late, because I knew Steve was coming today, we've let it get daily driven dirt on there. So he's got some work to do and um, we'll be getting into that now. So first things first, what do we need to start up doing? What are we gonna do? So first things first, it's always uh, for me, wheels. Okay. Uh, they're obviously the dirtiest part of the vehicle. Yep. So the process you're probably gonna see uh, going through, I'll be doing the arches first. I'll obviously pre-rinse, yeah. then we'll go on and, and start from the outside of the wheel, let's call it, um, the tyre, then we'll do the barrels, and then we work to the front of the faces. Cool. But for me personally, pre-rinse, pre-rinse, pre-rinse. Yeah. Get any of those loose contaminants, salt, grit, dirt, whatever it may be, off, because you don't want to induce any marring on your wash process. Sounds good. Okay. All right. So yeah, we're going to get a pre-rinse done of these wheels anyway to get all the loose contaminants off. So yeah, this is going to say, be my process, Steve, the, the way I do it. So we've got a Koch Chemie GS here. I don't really want to dwell too long on the products, but 150 to 850, uh, six pound a litre. I'm not going to try and remember everything or tell everybody about all these products, but if people want to ask in the questions or the comments below, then feel free. You know, I try and answer everything I possibly can, okay? But yeah, this is just an all-purpose cleaner so we can get into the arches. 
Great product, great user experience because it actually foams up as well. So it sort of lets you know where you've been or where you're going. Yeah. But this can be used literally for the whole wheel. You can use the tyre, you can do everything for this problem. Um, I'm just trying to show you today there are other options yeah. if people want to go down that route. So this is another problem, brake buster. So what I like about this brake buster and why I use it is it's got rust inhibitors. There's nothing worse, especially with gloss black alloys, when you pull off down the bottom of the road after just cleaning it, we've all seen the brake discs yeah. have that you know, iron yeah. rust on the, on the surface. Yes. Drive off, literally 500 yards, you know, it shows up. So yeah, this has got built-in rust inhibitors to help aid that. So we just want to try and get a bit every, everywhere. I know people might be saying, you're using too much. Yeah, well, probably I am today. There's a reason for that. Yeah. Uh, we want to over-exaggerate and just show people what these products can do. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. This is a dedicated tire cleaner. Um, and I think you'll see with immediate effect how good this tire cleaner is. Again, this is not an advertisement for me to say to go out and buy it. These are the products that I use on my recommendation. And I think you can see already what it's doing to the tires. Tire, can you it? see the browning already? Yes. Coming out of the tire that quick. Yeah. So it's a really good product. This yeah. is new to me. Yeah. So this is only the, my second time using it, but quite clearly you can see it's a cracking awesome. product. Uh, in here we've got the uh, garage therapy wheel shampoo that I spoke about. Yeah. That's also what we've got in the bucket. Yeah. So because of mine again having the gloss, gloss back alloys, and sorry for repeating myself today. Um, I want to reduce as much as I possibly can when we're doing the brushwork any of the Mari that could be potentially produced. Yes. This is a really lubricated uh, wheel shampoo and does an excellent job for me personally. Yeah. So let's have a look. Right, yeah, that's thick, isn't it? So yeah, it just puts just an added layer again. It's no foam for wheels. <laughs> yeah, it just helps add, I say, a bit of extra dwell time. Yeah. Also some lubricity for the brushwork. So EZ brushes bog brush I'm afraid today let's call it whatever you will yeah but for the arches so that's your arch brush so I use this for the arches yeah yeah bit bit of course for a bit or a bit of abrasive for me to use on the wheels I have people seeing them you know use it on the wheels yes but for me this is I mean perfect you can see what's already coming off we give it a pre-rinse already and they say sometimes it might take two hits yes um, but Obviously, you'll tell in your own product of your, of your own vehicles how dirty that is and whether it's required or not. But I think you can see, I'm just going to give that a rinse off, um, being that dirty, before it goes in. Obviously, it's going to get dirty in here, but we all want to try and reduce as much as we possibly can. And for me, wherever you are, in all the different brushes we have, the Vicam brush. Look at the tyres, I mean, the browning. Yeah, that's... It's, it's all, it's all, I don't think the van has ever experienced this. <laughs> so for me, the wheels take probably, you know, one of the longest out there to be done. Yeah. Um, I mean, if you could feel inside this bucket at the moment, seriously lubricated uh, water. Yeah. What you'll see a lot of people use in the process is uh, these tough shine brushes. Yes. Which are great. Again, I've got on had gloss black alloys. So this is a perfect dedicated tire brush uh, with the gloss black. I like, I, I moved away from these. I know they are got guided uh, angles brushes but it's quite an aggressive brush yeah and it's a dedicated tire brush but I just don't like it for me personally being too close sure to the wheel itself when you've spent thousands in some cases yes. that's why this is preferred yeah a Vicam dedicated oh here we go perfect let's start it <laughs> as you can see So this is again another EZ brush, which are, yeah, probably one of the best. I yeah. see you noticed earlier that you've got one of the Meguiar's um, microfiber brushes. That's again, right. nothing wrong with Meguiar's and people are, you know, snobbish over these products that are sold in Halfords. Nothing wrong, Meguiar's yeah. are fantastic products. Yes. Um, and I say, their brushes are good. And this, for me, is just slightly better. Um, yes. But do I own it? Yes, I do. But yeah, what we're doing here, as you can see, is just getting into there with the suds. We've obviously already given it a pre-rinse and just doing the barrels, making sure we get to the front and to the back yes. and between the spokes. And I say, my wheels are an absolute nightmare to clean compared to these. So 
These are actually lovely. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I <laughs> like these. I can see why, Steve. Yeah, so I just grabbed my um, bucket extension. As you can see, little bucket caddy, which is a cracking bit of kit yeah. for your brushes. That's ears, really handy. It's all up off the floor. All up off the floor. They're in there. They're upside down. Obviously, I've got a, a few brushes here. And again, you've seen some of the brushes I'm using here today. So this one I use, um, it's just for getting to do, to do the lug nuts. Wheel nuts, lug nuts, whichever way you want to call it. But this is to do your sensitive brush work. Just another part of the process. And so we've got some embedded stuff on here. Perfect. Right, we'll have a little rinse of that. See how we're getting on. We can put some fallouts in when required. So now they come up pretty clean, but there's some bits and pieces I can still see on there, yeah. which I'd like to, uh, you know, try and agitate and get off. So this is an iron fallout remover. Now we've got the wheels are clean. Yeah, you can still see that now. Yeah, it's starting to react. Yeah, so it's all good. Yeah. So this is a uh, a crevice. A crevice. A dodo juice crevice mitt. <laughs> it's not a joke hand. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it is. Um, so this is in there just to get onto the backs of the wheels, look. Yeah. Because no matter how much we pressure washed it, there's still gonna be stuff in there. And obviously, this is never gonna be as good as the wheels off. But this is the best we can do for what we're trying to get and aim to achieve today. Yeah. So we know that we've taken every step that we can today to try and get as much as we can of these contaminants in this build up. And but that's what this video is about really. Is correct. It? All right, we'll give that a rinse off okay. before we get to do the others. I think we've hit the spot. Some people will go in and use the second time we'll do and hit the tires again. Um, but again, I don't think we need to today. No, that's um, good. I think it looks, yeah. Really? Normally you sort of know or pick up on when it needs another hit, but yes. I think we've got it um, there so far. Sweet. see so far in the process we've got the wheels done and I've used the um, the bee juice from bouncers on the on the wheels after we've cleaned them to allow them to be cleaned and have some protection on there the vehicle's still dirty as we can see but the weather's against us we, I mean we've had four or five massive downpours yeah we've so, had some blips and we're just in the middle of a non rain but as you can see on some of this footage the rain is absolutely coming down for me I'm under the porch Poor Steve is out there battling with this wind and rain. So you have yeah. come up with an idea for today to change yeah. the process now. So as we can see, we've seen some of the products I've actually brought with me, and by the looks of it, it's a good job that I did bring some of these products with me. So we're gonna change it up a little bit. So I wanna leave you today with it obviously cleaned and prepped and everything else. So all the buckets are made up, so we'll go through and get that done. Yeah. Um, but instead of uh, taking the time and, and using one of the uh, sort of ceramic spray sealants, as we call it, uh, we're gonna go and probably use a lance applied sealant. That way, you'll get in a clean van, yeah. And then what we can do is I'll come back because I'm in an hour away and we'll revisit this process yes. and then drop back in um, and add to it. And, and yeah. it's, I think that's probably the best way to do it because this is going to happen to everybody, yeah. uh, whether you're in the business, whether you're not, you know, or people on their driveway. Yes. So at least this way we can show them how we can change it up, you can get over the line, you can get it finished and you can get it protected. Yes. So let's be honest, this is what this is all about. Yeah, interesting yeah, to see what we do now then. Yeah, perfect. So we move on and say, as 
as we just said, wheels are done. I'll get on now, like, a pre, like I previously mentioned, we must get a pre-wash or a pre-rinse done on the vehicle to get any contaminants off. Some people say go straight over the snow foam. I don't, me personally, I like to rinse the vehicle off. Then we'll go on with a snow foam, um, which is a Finnick Vance power foam. It's got a little bit of bite to it, yeah. but over the top. Snow foams, before people think, are not miracle workers. Sure. They will not remove all the traffic fuel and everything else. What it does help is give it a digital dwell time yeah. and also just soften up and loosen up yeah. where it's allowed to cling on to you know, some of these built-in contaminants. A lot of people don't really know the process of what snow foam is for. I was one of them, so that's interesting. Yeah, a lot of people think if you put it on, there's, there's many out there now which are coloured and everything, which is great for Instagram and you know, yeah. great for getting you noticed if you're in the main road working. Yeah. But yeah, the one I chose today to bring with me give me a bit of extra dwell time yeah. um, and it has got some you know, bite to it. Yes. We'll get that on, we'll get it off yeah. and then we'll go in with um, the Tangy shampoo which I've got in the bucket already yeah. and the process I'm using that, the snow foam I bought is high alkaline yeah. high alkaline will attack the organic deposits which are on the vehicle yes. and the Tangy with being slightly acidic will get into the mineral deposits. Yes. You've got slightly harder water around here as we've, we've spoke about before yeah. so by using the two yeah. we can hopefully get this clean back which will give the sealant we apply shortly the most chance of adhering to the paintwork and giving you longer longevity. Right, yeah. So we'll uh, crack on and get that done, alright? Absolutely sound, yeah. Cool. today so we're trying to get this on and I'll back it off a little bit but because it's so windy it's going to give us a bit of added dwell time which you know some people will say that's too thick probably is too thick but I say with it being windy um, we're trying to get round quickly today as a rule of thumb you want it slightly you know slightly runnier but these are renowned these MJJC foam lances for putting it on thick um, that's why a lot of people, you know, I would say most potentially people use these or prefer them, but use the tile on the top just to dial it back. Yes. Um, so you can add a bit more water in as if you need to, you know, to take the product down. You don't really want, you know, shaving foam. No. Um, but it looks great for the pictures. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> But people will want to see how the ideal foam is. Like this, this yes. is how we want it. Yeah. Just to do, keep it moving and not clumping off together. Yeah. As it's clumping off, it won't come off, it won't take any of the contaminants or loose contaminants with it, and it won't have the uh, time on there, the wetting agents to soften and get all the contaminants, you see? Yes. It'll just bypass over the top and won't take it with it. In an ideal world, if we had more time, what we plan to do today, we would go around, get the car dry, blow some of the stuff off, and then we would use the glue and tar to go along because it just makes it more, obviously, potent, let's call it. But yeah, with this, we're going to try and get some of this glue and tar anyway. Glue and tar we're using today, which is one I actually really like, is the Alien Magic. But we're just going to spray this over the lower part because, as we've just seen, there's quite a few here spots of glue and uh, of tar and also uh, some tree sap 
which you're always going to get them. But yeah, by the water sitting and holding on the panel like it is, you see, um, it's going to dilute the product down. Yes. So it won't be as as effective. But look, we know we're going to come back and redo this. Make more content for everybody. This is the pre-video. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you see here like, on the door, I don't know if you can get into that, Steve, a bit closer. Yes. I know it's hard to see with the Indian grey. Um, my van you know, is, is identical to yours for this. You can really smell that product, can't you? Yes. It's like, it smells like when a car's been painted. That's it. Yeah. It is. So it is real metallic -y smell. So this was, you know, uh, when it is put on dry, uh, we'll start to break down. You'll see it start to bleed, but yeah. I can see quite a few of these spots of tar all over. Yes. So what we do is we'll go around and grab a microfiber and we'll just give those a gentle wipe over yes. and then we'll um, wash the vehicle afterwards and put some fallout on as well and say, Normally this process would be done after the wash. I just want to reiterate that. We're doing it today the other way around because we're, we're starting to spit of rain again, as we can see. Yeah, we've got to get it all in, haven't we? Yeah, we'll let yeah. that on there to dwell. So yes. probably would have left this for a next time, but that I'm here, we're filming. Let's go for it. Let's do it. So I tell you, this is a day if people ever wanted to know about filming <laughs> or washing cars yeah. in literally four seasons today. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think we've had everything thrown at us. And to people like you, Steve, who make these videos, hats off. Yeah. <laughs> hats off. <laughs> As we can see, the sun now is absolutely beaming and it's you know warmed right up. Um, we've done it split, so we've done the roof. Then we've gone over to the driver's side, rinsed. We've done the lower parts with a separate mitt. Now just done the side in the shade for obvious reasons. Um, and then we're gonna get on and just apply a, a lance supply sealant um, today so we can get on and, and bring it in for another day if people wanna see more. Yeah. Um, I found on the way round some bird etchings, some marks and everything else. So I think the next time we go into this, um, we'll look into giving it uh, another, again, deep clean. And we'll also go into giving it a machine polish. So we'll look at doing that next and say, if people wanna see it, we'll do that and we'll pray that we don't get four seasons in one day. Yes. <laughs> We literally have had four scenes of the weather come through here today, making Steve's job very, very, very difficult because he's trying to do it at a pace we can show you what's going on and the weather is changing and not matching the forecast. So we've decided that we're going to use this way so I get in a clean van, nice, um, and it's had quite a bit of treatment already, but we're going to be doing a slightly different video if that's what you want to see. Um, where we will film the process and the products and then we'll do a voiceover so it makes it a little bit easier to watch because the audio today has been a bit difficult with the fact that 
the vehicles outside with the rain on the floor it's really been drowning out the audio so sorry for that anyway back to the video right so change of tack we mentioned earlier uh, with the weather the way it is we wanted to do you know a full um, chemical decon, dry it, you know, go through all the processes, all the stages, and then we were going to go through and use one of the sealants I bought on the selection of the table, apply one of those, and give us in some of the, of the region of six to nine months. This product we're going to put on now is about three months, really, protection, but now if we spoke about and mentioned, we're going to come back, revisit, we're going to do a full decontamination again in probably three months, or when the weather's better, we're going to do some machine polishing because we found um, some bits and pieces that I'm not happy or, or pointed out to yourself that's always good practice if you are you know a detailer as a, as a business get these agreed first with the customers you know speak to them and I say I know we're looking at the Volkswagen or, or people on my group the, you know, the car boutique uh, some of these guys are professional anyway so I don't want to tell them how to suck eggs as such but yeah. always good process to go around and spot yes anything you see wrong um, yeah. you know so it doesn't come back and bite you yes but yeah quickly okay. moving on um, in Cine, uh, Infinity Wax Synergy Boost uh, was a product that I helped develop or work with them uh, and test. I've changed tack today, as we've mentioned, so sorry for repeating myself for the third time. I'm sure Steve, you better cut it out if I'm waffling on. But yeah, it's drying out quite quick on us. We want to get it protected. We're going to run out of daylight. It's, you know, this, the, the, the sun's dropping, as I say, quite quickly now. Yeah, the clocks went back last night, didn't they? They certainly did. So let's have a look and get this on now, and we should be able to see now a complete change in the water behavior. So I'll just test it a check away. <laughs> So I just want to change the fan for what I like personally. There you go. So this product you can allow us to get it on, get it on quick, gets into all the little nitty bits, the ground, you know, the jams, the door jams everywhere, the wheels, the roof. It's only 20 mil products, and I don't want this to be, uh, you know, an advertisement channel. Uh, this is a new product out. I don't even think you can buy it yet until you know a, a couple of weeks time But this is just for the speed process of it. We want to get it on and get it off As you can see it's quite a weird product when yeah. you've got it on. Yeah, um, let's get the roof done as well while we're around this side Also, if you're gonna get a hose, I would always advise with a transport I get a 10 meter hose not an 8. <laughs> I have to get that in there Steve. Yes so this product you can pretty much get everywhere. Transporters are renowned for getting filthy on the back. This is no different, and no different to mine. But you can see the water behaving now in this van. And this will only increase in a second when we give it a rinse off. So make sure on the back you get under, below the rear. Always a little void there underneath where the number plate is. Get it all covered. Plenty on the roof. So that is the van coated. Nice. That was about 600 mil through an MJJC. I see, I maybe almost should touch on that with a Volkswagen. Sometimes with a car, you might have less product in there. But for me, 600, 650 mil gives you enough to get around a long wheelbase transit. Uh, transit. Oh, did I just swear on the channel? <laughs> Kick me. Cut, cut, cut that cut, out. Cut. <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, that's about for me what it works getting around moving quite quickly, as you just see. Yeah. So now I take this out. Again, I need to give it a rinse out because this is a product um, which have been renowned. Not this one in particular, but this type of product for blocking these up. So, again, you've heard me do it before already. Give it a clean, give it a rinse, rinse it out. Bearing in mind, you've got the sun as well on the vehicle. This should only be a couple of, you know, 30 seconds to a minute to give this a rinse out, because we don't want any product drying on these vans. You don't even have to really, you don't even have to do it up. But it's just a process that I like to do to make sure it's cleared out. That's it. Let's move and get this product off. So we got plenty of shots before what it was like with hydrophilic. Now we've got the product on there. For your Instagram shots or wherever you need it to be, look, for your beading. Yeah, I can see that running off. Nice. Yeah, look at that. So yeah, we'll work around and get this off. Because we don't want it drying. Right. 
Crikey. Voila. Took it all off in one hit. Yeah. Flip well, hey. Crikey. So, yeah. That really does absorb it, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a good drying towel. It's not been out very long, but it's uh, definitely a nice bit of kit. Yeah. How many towels do you need to clean a van? So for me, this one I've got here, this will easily do by transporting no problem. So yeah, this is literally just to keep it as light again, as I said, as possible. Yeah. And don't you just love transporters? Because uh, the uh, the water will strain off for days. They're just constant, aren't they? As you'll know fully. It's a big old towel, but it's uh, yeah, definitely one. And here we go, look. So you see I've got two I brought with me. One I tend to use for the uh, yellow wheels. Yes. And I keep that dedicated. Yes. But the transports, we've got all these little gaps. So it's actually a glass cleaner with hydrophobic water repellent properties. Okay. So you'll see is we're obviously not going to go and soak the vehicle today, but you'll see and probably give us an update when you're working to drive to work tomorrow when it's uh, raining yeah it's bound to be raining isn't it is that something that you can apply to both sides of the glass or just the outside yeah. so yeah i've used it on both yeah a lot of people say don't yeah don't you know use it on both sides um i've got some other stronger hydrophobic glass cleaners that i don't tend to use on the front yeah um but yeah no i would pretty much use it to others cool but just a couple of sprays that's all it needs work it in i say normally i've got a fish scale glass got dedicated yes um which typically I can't find, and it was the first thing I actually grabbed out this morning. So I'd imagine it's left in my driveway. Or, oh, on the outside, on the floor. So probably, yes. Oh, uh, no. I think Carly would pick it up, but um, oh. in typical fashion, that's what happens, isn't it? Yes. Product which cleanses the tyres. Okay. So it actually puts goodness back into the tyres. Okay. You can put on one coat, you'll see uh, in a second, which gives it a nice matte finish, let's call it, an OEM finish. Yes. We can add an additional layer sort of an hour later. Yeah. Again, with the sum of the way it is, we're going to get one coat on, but yeah. obviously we're coming back. So yeah. yeah, you'll see this. This is one of my favourite products. Nice. In my hand here, we've got the uh, car scoop. Oh, yeah, the tyre applicator you were yeah. saying about. Ink brush. So we just apply small amount hope you can see on that one yeah small amount so I lightly for me personally I just lightly apply it yeah and then just gently rub it in okay. paying attention to the edges feel that the paint's that obviously we know we need to decontaminate uh sorry clay bar before we machine polish next time but when we go you know, next time we get it fully polished up we'll have this like a bit of glass yes completely reflection yeah yeah because the good thing about this color is you can actually get it like that yes you know, quite easily so, yes yeah that makes a big difference to that one that's awesome that's better yeah that is very very good yeah and I feel that when something's that clean or that slick, yeah. it helps with the self-repelling yes. of any dirt and grime. Yeah. So the self-cleaning um, products of this or the process of this should actually help yeah. moving forward. So yeah, looks good. That looks really good. So as the tyres done, as the wheels done. Yeah. It's a bit arse about face. Yeah. With the, with the weather. With the weather. Yeah. We've still got some drips coming, but I think over the half. I mean, 
proof's in the pudding. Absolutely. Well, if we flick back to the before photo now <laughs> uh, yeah. of how that van was, and then now as to what it is, um, that is completely transformed because everything's cut down. Yeah, inside the wheels, inside the arches, all the grooves, everything. Yeah. So that's going to be a wrap for this video. As you saw that the weather did give us some jip and we didn't get to play out the structure that we wanted to. Um, Steve had come across with a method which we couldn't quite follow and I know you're quite conscious of that. Yes, yeah, I don't want to emphasize it. I know there's a right way or a wrong way and maybe we did move about some of the process today but I don't want to go on about it too much. Sure. But yeah, we've got it cleaned, we've got it done today. We're going to come back and revisit. Um, if you want to see some product reviews, shameless plug, sorry, um, which I do on Geeky Detail Reviews on Instagram. And then we've also, if you want to follow us a bit more in a bit more depth and learn a bit more about the processes where other people share their tips, tricks and knowledge, shall we say. Yep. Um, we've got the Car Boutique on Facebook. Right, so and I'm going to put those, those in the links below as well, just to make life easier, coming up on screen now to repeat what they were. So go, I, I suggest head over and actually check out some of what Steve does because there's a hell of a lot of in-depth content on reviews that you've made, isn't there? Correct, yeah, um, and I say we didn't get what done today fully what we wanted to do. We don't want to draw this out too much, but I think we've got the van in a great state for where we were. We've picked up on some bits and pieces that need addressing, yeah. which we're now going to make part two of. Yes and we'll go through and because yeah. there was no inspection was there pre ahead of this video steve hadn't fully inspected what he was coming into yeah so uh alongside that that has meant that we can bring some more content because we're going to do that that, that video which will be coming soon so thank you very much for watching don't forget to like the video subscribe check out steve's channel and we'll see you in the next Perfect. one real soon cheers guys thank thanks, you steve. thanks cheers, very much. thank you